Now let us move on to the second question. The question is write down the decimal expansions of those rational numbers in question 1 above which have terminating decimal expansions. So let us take the first rational number that is 13 upon 3125. It has a terminating decimal expansion as solved in the first question. So now we shall find its decimal expansion. So let's move to the solution. To find the decimal expansion of 13 upon 3125, we shall first write the denominator that is 3125 as a product of its prime factors. Therefore, 3125 can be written as 5 times 625 and 625 can be written as 5 times 125. 125 can be written as 5 times 25 and 25 can be written as 5 times 5. Therefore, 3125 can be written as 5 multiplied with itself 5 times. Therefore, the given rational number becomes 13 upon 5 power 5. Now, we shall multiply the given rational number with 2 power 5 on both the numerator and denominator. Therefore, 13 upon 5 power 5 multiplied by 2 power 5 by 2 power 5. This gives 13 times 2 power 5 upon 5 power 5 times 2 power 5. This implies 13 times 2 power 5 is 32 divided by 5 times 2 is 10. So 10 whole power 5 which is 13 times 32 is 416 by 10 power 5. So in the denominator of the obtained rational number we have 5 zeros therefore we shift the decimal point towards the left to 5 places. Therefore we have the decimal expansion as 0 0.00416. Hence, the decimal expansion for the given rational number 13 upon 3125 is 0 0.00416. Now let us move on to the second rational number that has terminating decimal expansion. So the rational number is 17 upon 8. To find its decimal expansion, first we shall write the denominator of the given rational number as a product of its prime factors. Therefore, 8 can be written as 2 times 4 and 4 can be written as 2 times 2. Therefore, 8 can be expressed as 2 times 2 times 2 which is equal to 2 cube. Therefore, the given rational number becomes 17 upon 2 cube. Now, we shall multiply the obtained rational number with 5 cube on both the numerator and denominator. Therefore, 17 upon 2 cube times 5 cube by 5 cube. This gives 17 times 5 cube upon 2 cube times 5 cube. This implies 17 times 5 cube is 125 upon 2 times 5 is 10. So 10 whole cube. Therefore 17 times 125 is 2125 upon 10 cube that is 1000. Since in the denominator we have 3 zeros, we shift the decimal point towards left to 3 places. Therefore, the decimal expansion is 2.125. Therefore, the decimal expansion for the rational number 17 upon 8 is equal to 2.125. 1 to 5. Now let us move on to the next rational number that has the terminating decimal expansion. So the rational number is 15 upon 1600. So to obtain its decimal expansion, first we need to write its denominator as a product of its prime factors. Therefore 1600 can be written as 2 times 800. And 800 can be written as 2 times 400. 400 is written as 2 times 200. 
200 is written as 2 times 100 and 100 is written as 2 times 50 50 is written as 2 times 25 and 25 is written as 5 times 5 therefore 1600 can be written as 2 multiplied with itself 6 times and 5 multiplied with itself 2 times therefore 1600 can be written as 2 power 6 times 5 square therefore the rational number becomes 15 upon 2 power 6 times 5 square now to obtain its decimal expansion we need to multiply the given rational number with 5 power 4 on both the numerator and denominator So 15 upon 2 power 6 times 5 square multiplied with 5 power 4 by 5 power 4. So from this we have 15 times 5 power 4 by 2 power 6 times 5 square times 5 power 4 gives 5 power 6. This implies 15 times 5 power 4 is 625 by 2 times 5 is 10 so 10 power 6 which is equal to 15 times 625 is 9375 divided by 10 power 6 since in the denominator we have 6 zeros so we shift the decimal point towards left to 6 places therefore the decimal expansion is 0. 009375 therefore the decimal expansion for the rational number 15 upon 1600 is equal to 0 0.009375now let us move on to the next rational number that has the terminating decimal expansion so now we need to find the decimal expansion for the rational number 23 upon 2 cube times 5 square since the denominator is already in the form of a product of prime factors now to find the decimal expansion we need to multiply the given rational number with 5 on both the numerator and denominator so now we get 23 times 5 upon 2 cube times 5 square times 5 23 times 5 is 115 by 5 square times 5 is 5 cube that is 2 cube times 5 cube this implies 115 by 2 cube times 5 cube is 10 whole cube since in the denominator we have three zeros so we shift the decimal point to left to three places therefore we have 115 by 1000 this gives 0 0.115 therefore the decimal expansion for 23 upon 2 cube times 5 square is 0 0.115 now let us move on to the next rational number that has terminating decimal expansion so the rational number is 6 upon 15 so the rational number can be simplified as 6 and 15 are multiples of 3 therefore 6 by 15 can also be written as 2 by 5 to obtain the decimal expansion for 2 by 5 we need to multiply the rational number obtained with 2 on both the numerator and denominator therefore we get 2 times 2 upon 5 times 2 this implies 2 times 2 is 4 by 5 times 2 is 10 since in the denominator we have only 1 0 we need to place the decimal point towards left to 1 place therefore the decimal expansion for 2 by 5 is equal to 0 0.4 therefore the decimal expansion
of 6 upon 15 is 0 0.4. Now let us move on to the next rational number that has terminating decimal expansion. So the rational number is 35 upon 50. To find its decimal expansion, first we need to write the denominator that is 50 as a product of its prime factors. Therefore, 50 can be written as 2 times 25 and 25 is written as 5 times 5. Therefore, 50 can be expressed as 2 times 5 times 5 that is 2 times 5 square. Therefore, the given rational number becomes 35 upon 2 times 5 square. Now, to obtain its decimal expansion, we need to multiply the obtained rational number with 2 on both the numerator and denominator. So, now we have the numerator as 35 times 2 by 2 times 2 is 2 square and 2 square times 5 square which implies 35 times 2 is 70 by 2 times 5 is 10 and it is 10 whole square. Since, since in the denominator we have two zeros, so we shift the decimal point to three places towards left. Therefore, the decimal expansion is 0 0.70 that is equal to 0 0.7. Therefore, the decimal expansion for the rational number 35 upon 50 is equal to 0 0.7.